Hello to my fellow music producers and talented people out there. Welcome back. I am Zalot of GMAC Productions. I'm a freelance music producer and musician and audio engineer. I have another tutorial for you today, guys. Um, and this time, I'll be showing you how I use submixes and sound tracks. I read in a YouTube comment um, on my video organizing your mix in Mixcraft 7. Um, if you know, he's asking if I'd be able to show you guys how I do that. So here I am. I'm gonna do that right now. But um, you know, I'll be hitting two birds in one stone today. Um, the best way for me to show you how I use sand tracks and I use submix is by doing parallel compression. Okay. Now, um, I'll just give you a brief, uh, background on parallel compression. Um, it is a form of, uh, compression. It's a, a very, not just a very good, but it's a great mixing technique that a lot of producers are using. It's also called New York compression. Okay. So you will achieve that kind of a technique by uh, blending or mixing uh, two signals together. One signal heavily compressed and then the other one is lightly or no compression at all. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you mix both signals so you can achieve a sound for example, on drums, um, a sound that's fatter and beefier, okay, and it has more life, okay, it's it has more punch than um, just you know just the 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 drum signal, okay. If you combine them, it's a great sound that you're gonna get, okay. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna show you how I do parallel compression. I know that there are a lot of YouTube videos and tutorials on parallel compression using other DAWs. Okay, and th that's a great concept. Um, there are a lot of people who are doing this, but what's the difference here? Um, I'm using Mixcraft 7. You know, uh, there are different ways on doing parallel compression if you're using another DAW. There are some people who are du duplicating, you know, the, the submix or the drum track or the bass track. And then what they do is they the first the second signal is they heavily compress that and then they start mixing. Okay, this one I'm gonna use a sand track for me to do parallel compression. Okay, so let's start. All right. So what I did today is as you can see I have a kick and snare and a hi hat here. Um, I just got it from the loops in Mixcraft uh, Pro Studio Seven. And then what I did is I su uh, put it on, on submix, okay? So first of all, let's just, you know, take them out again to show you how you do a submix. Okay, so let's, let's delete this, okay? So you have your audio tracks here. Now, if you want to put it in a group, okay, what you do is you just go to track, add submix track, or you just uh, go to track here at the upper part of uh, the software and then you add track sorry and then sorry I'm just I'm not using a mouse right now and there's submix track okay now what you need to do is of course in organizing my mix I said that you have to name your tracks right so we name this drums okay and then what you need to do is just to drag it drag this and drag this uh, for you to find out that if it's a part of the submix is it's already within this one and you can you know control this by when you click the uh, minus sign okay click this okay then you click that so it's part of the submix it's already part of the group okay so let's play this right now Yeah. Okay. So this uh, drum loop, I did some EQs and compression here. What I'm going to do right now is to show you how I do parallel compression. Okay. So let's play it again and, and check the sound. Okay. 
okay it's it has its own punch already okay it's it's actually groovy already for me all right so what i'm gonna do is let's create a send track right now okay so let's click this and then add send track okay then let's uh, name this again as parallel i'm sorry about that parallel drums okay now um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna send okay the signal from the submix to the send track okay there are two ways for you to do this all right now since it's part of submix uh the drum parts can be sent individually to the send track okay by clicking this one okay and then what you need to do is to click track volume and you can see the send there so okay it's it pops up a send button there okay all right so let's do this okay so you can send each track to the send signal by doing that you can also send the signal of all the tracks in the submix group to the send track like the same thing so on the submix what you can do is the same uh the same thing that you, we did earlier okay so so it's already there okay it's not yet sending because i did not send it yet uh by uh by uh, moving the dial, all right? But why I did this is because there are some, you know, tracks or there are some submix drum tracks that have overheads, all right? So, th and they also have room mic, especially in those who have mic their recordings on their drums, all right? And what it, overhead sometimes when you do parallel compression sounds a little bit, you know, um, the cymbals and the hi-hats will be more compressed a little bit further so it sounds um, a little bit punchier which you know it, it depends on the track actually but sometimes it, it instead of you know uh, making the sound better it makes the sound um, it makes the sound muffled it makes this uh, it, it, it gives you a different sound that what you're looking for so I'm not going to deal on that okay but why am I saying that? Why am I telling you that, guys? Because you can manipulate individually what you need to send. Okay, you can send the whole group as using the the dial on the submix, or if you don't want to do that, you can send each individually. Okay, like that. Okay, so if there's one drum track that you don't like to compress you use this but if you like to compress all of the tracks you use this one okay does that make sense guys all right so right now um it doesn't matter <laughs> actually it doesn't matter so let's just send the whole group to the parallel drums so what happens is here we go let's just unsolo this okay so we have two signals right now, the signal for the submix and the signal for the drums, the parallel drums here. Okay, so if you mute this, okay, so if you uh, were able to hear what happened earlier when I muted it, okay, the, the sound was reduced. Okay, now let's unmute this, it became louder. Okay, but the, all right but it's not yet parallel compression all right it's not yet the sound that I want to I want to get okay it has a different it's just it just sounded louder okay but it's not yet the sound that we want to get okay so what I'm gonna do right now is to solo this one okay if I'm when I muted that of course because it's sending a signal so don't do that Okay, so let's solo this and let's compress it. I'm gonna use an acoustica compressor. Yeah. Okay, wait. Alright, so let's do a preset right now. 
Okay, let's just do it. Stop that further. Um, let's do a preset. Let's uh, squash drums effect. Okay, and let's just check this one. So I'm gonna do some tweaks. I'm going to overly compress this drum track. of 35 okay it's really squashing it <laughs> So it's heavily squashed, it's heavily compressed right now, okay? I didn't do any compression on the submix track, okay? I didn't do it. So what I'm planning to do right now is one dry um, uncompressed signal and one heavily compressed signal. And then what we're going to do is to blend them in, all right? So let's just open the mixer right now, okay? So you can see how I do that. All right, so this one is the send track and this one is the submix okay they are both on a on z the same level okay so i'll, I'll just uh, lower this down and then let's play okay so what i'm gonna do right now you see how this will affect the drum loop Okay, so you saw the difference, okay? I'm sorry, you heard the difference on that. Um, the, 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 the sound of the drums um, became fatter, it's much beefier and punchier than before. Okay, let's do it again so that you would, you would hear the difference. that is the compressed sound okay this one is the mix so this is parallel compression so that's parallel compression that's how you do it in mixcraft pro studio 7 pretty much easy you can do this on your drums you can do this on your bass all right and there are a lot of, of ways and you can use your creativity in in using this uh this process Parallel compression is a great mixing technique. A lot of people, a lot of music producers, a lot of audio engineers are doing this, okay? So that's how you do it on Mixcraft Pro Studio 7. It's pretty much easy. 
There's nothing complicated. You just need to understand the concept and how you use it on your mixes, okay? So that's how I do my sub mix. That's how I do my sends. Um, the sand tracks also are beneficial on doing your effects, okay? So guys, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Uh, I hope you stay tuned on my next tutorials, guys. I'll be doing a lot of mixing on vocal tracks. Um, I'll be doing a lot of, you know, tutorials, but I also want to, you know, share my concept on mixing as well. Um, on the things that I've learned from school and learned from experience as well, okay? Thank you very much, guys. I hope you learned a lot. Um, keep on liking, keep on subscribing. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye-bye.